Have you ever wondered why get married in the church? Especially with a divorce rate of nearly 50%, why doesn't a civil ceremony by a justice of the peace suffice? Consider getting married in the church and receiving the sacrament of matrimony. What is the sacrament of marriage? The church has seven sacraments. Well, we all want to be happy when we get married, don't we? And it's not easy being married. Is it easy being married? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but does God want us to be happy? Yes. He wants us to be happy. He himself instituted marriage. The book of Genesis makes that clear. And so really the, the way to understand the sacrament of marriage is the way that God ensures that married couples receive his grace to overcome sin, the way sin particularly assaults the institution of marriage, especially in a divorce rate of nearly 50%. And in fact, the grace is guaranteed to work. The church has the keys to a happy marriage. And this is what is so awesome and so beautiful about the sacrament of marriage. So what role does Christ play in our marriage? Well, for me, <laughs> I, uh, in the most difficult situations, a lot of times I have to think, what, how am I gonna answer to Christ? So sometimes I have to make a very difficult decision, something that I don't wanna do, a conversation I don't wanna have, um, and, but also in the ways that I serve you <laughs> in marriage. And I think to myself, I better do a good job because I'm not only serving my husband, I'm serving Christ. The Christian life, after all, is about relationship first and foremost with the person of Christ. And through the sacrament of marriage, really, it's the, Christ, what he's doing is he's putting himself in the midst of our marriages. Mm -hmm. So it's about three. Fulton Sheen, the great Fulton Sheen, once wrote a book, Three to Get Married. So through the sacrament, Christ puts himself in the middle of our marriage. And I, I really, I don't understand how couples can, can, can do it today without sharing the faith, without God's help. Um, I mean, I, I teach a marriage course at Providence College, and I tell my students, you know, without a godly marriage, um, honestly, good luck. Uh, without the grace from Christ. I agree, because I think it's easy to focus on the happy times and do this and celebrate that. That Those times are easy. And marriage, you know, when we got married, we vowed a lifetime together. And so the hard part in this world tells us, it's about you, walk away, do what you want, it's not worth it. And so, and having a marriage grounded in Christ and in faith those are the dark valleys that keep you focused on the big prize. And that, and that is, you know, we want to be married. So it takes work. And we have worked pretty hard, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage is, uh, you know, love is, is, is giving yourself, serving the other, and loving the other for the other's sake. And who is the better model for that than Christ himself? And in the sacrament of marriage, he, he gives us the grace to model our marriages after that. Otherwise, it's, 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 uh, it's just, it's very difficult. Right. So we're happy, we're, we're happy we got <laughs> married in the church, aren't we? <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes. I'm Paul Gondreau. And I'm Christiana Gondreau. And, and this, this is, is Seek and, and Find. find.